Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about this new knife that I picked up by Off Grid Knives called the Black Mamba. I took a trip over to Western Europe this summer and decided to bring this knife along with me as my primary EDC. And uh, if you're like me when you're traveling, laws are uh, pretty convoluted, just like they are in many states here in the United States. And uh, the last thing I want to do is get in trouble while I'm in a foreign land. So I saw the form factor on this knife, felt pretty comfortable that it would fly under the radar, and decided to take it with me. If you want to hear more on my findings and experience with this knife, keep watching. One of the main reasons I decided to uh, take this knife with me overseas, pretty much right from the get-go when I unboxed it and uh, got to play with it for a while, was because, first of all, it's form factor. It is small, it is not intimidating at all. So once again, just something easier to fly under the radar if you do get questioned by law enforcement or whoever else while you are traveling abroad. Now on top of that, it has this super smooth opening like butter in closing. And that's because it has this high-end ceramic ball bearing that it's riding on, making it for that smooth operation. Another reason why I chose to carry this knife while I was overseas of course, my primary reason for EDC would be a self-defense application, especially since we are so limited uh, in our choices while we are traveling. And now when it came to this specific knife, just the scaling that's on here that allows for that retention, the index finger opening, super smooth, super easy. The knife here has no give, so incredibly well built, something that I would feel safe in deploying where it's not going to malfunction and end up injuring me. As you can tell, this knife is super simple to operate just with one hand. So once again, something that I certainly look for in a blade that I'm gonna carry for self-defense. And the other thing that really clinched it for me was basically the index opener just makes a, an excellent guard. So if you were to operate this knife, let's say in a self-defense application, you're not going to slide off of it. And I see that in a lot of uh, blades and knives with this type of form factor. So the fact that it has this guard when you are thrusting and let's say you make some kind of impact, your hand isn't gonna slide forward and basically slice off your fingers and or put you out of commission, especially during an altercation. I mean, the construction on this knife, uh, I feel, is definitely superior, especially for the price point when you compare it with a lot of the other higher-end models that are out there. When you look at the specifications on here, they're very similar to uh, blades that I've seen and owned that are double the price point of this one. From utilizing the M390 Super Steel for the blade, the Grade 5 Titanium, to the high-end ceramic ball bearing, a smooth-as-butter opening. And closing. This knife weighs in at 4.58 ounces and the blade is 2.78 inches long. I will put many more specs because there are a ton of specs to this knife in my blog post. So be sure to check that out. I'll place the link in the comments below. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a quality folder that certainly flies under the radar, looks incredible, feels incredible, and comes in at the right price point for what you're getting, Definitely take a look at this Black Mamba by Off-Grid Knives. 